hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another Arduino tutorial for beginners so in this tutorial we will be seeing how to control a servo motor using Arduino so this will be a servo motor basics tutorial so we are not going to do uh, complex things in this so this will be a basics uh, tutorial where you'll be able to see the step-by-step -step process of uh, uh, the circuit how to connect to the servo motor with Arduino and you know you will also learn how to make the code for the servo motor to be controlled with an Arduino so in this code what you will learn is you'll uh, see how to make use of for loop to control the servo motor or to uh, control the rotation from 0 to 180 degree so that's what we are going to see on this so before uh, getting started on the actual uh, process, I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and also like my video, share and comment. So we are going to use a Tinkercad simulation for this tutorial so we can uh, create the circuit, we can write the code and we can simulate the scenario. Okay. So in the actual uh, case, if you have an Arduino and servo motor, it will be exactly the same. So you can just make the circuit, uh, use the code uh, to upload it from the Arduino ID and you should be able to have your project running. So let's start with the circuit. So what we need is we need an Arduino board. Okay. So let me add an Arduino board and we also need a servo motor. So we have uh, uh, just two components we needed and uh, we need some wires. Okay. So what we will do is uh, first, you know, if you see the servo motor, it have a uh, three pins, right? three connectors one is the signal other one is power and other one is ground okay and you know the Arduino have a lot of pins so what we need to do is we need to make the connection so I'm going to use the ground first okay so let me connect the ground to the ground okay so I will uh, connect the ground uh, from the servo motor to the Arduino ground and let me also do the connection for y 5 volt okay so you can see I have uh, did the connection for 5 volt also from uh, uh, the servo motor now we have a pin for signal so this pin can be connected to any one of the pin from uh, Arduino to control it because based on this pin is what we will be controlling the uh, uh, connection so if you see I am going to give this uh, a pin uh, orange uh, color for this uh, wire so the signal is going to the pin number two in Arduino. So you can connect to any other pin as well, but uh, based on that pin, you need to configure in the code. So this is only the uh, the connection part. It's pretty simple because we don't we are not using any other configuration. So this is the basics of uh, how to control servo motor. So now let's try to write the code. Okay, so I'll go to the text uh, connection. So first thing, uh, you know, what we need is uh, this code is uh, by default code, okay, so which is not going to use it here. So we need to write the code completely. So first thing what you need to do is you need to include uh, the servo motor library. So you need to use this uh, code hash include servo dot h. So we need to import this library. So in your Arduino uh, libraries, if you don't have that, you need to install it. Okay, so next part is once you imported you need to start the object for servo motor so for that you need to use servo and you need to give a name so it can be any name so but i will use uh, servo again okay it can be any other name like servo underscore two or you know whatever name you need you give it's going to uh, initiate an object okay so this name uh, if you see servo start with capital s this name you know it can be even servo it can be a b c d or any name but the only difference is we need to call this name to attach uh, the servo motor to the pin okay that i'll show you and i will also want to initiate uh, you know or set up an integer called pos again okay, i'm going to set this uh, zero and again this pos can be anything it can be any other integer name also but only thing is you need to use that uh, integer uh, inside the for loop okay so I have uh, did the POS as an integer and now the next step is we need to attach. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use servo dot attach. And here I need to give the pin number. So since I'm connecting the servo motor to the pin two, I'll be using the two here. If you're using uh, connecting to some other pin, you need to use that pin number here. So that's all with this initial part. Now we need to write the code uh, to 
uh, you know, convert or you need to make the servo motor to rotate from 0 to 180 degree, right? So now if you see this servo motor have this uh, f fan leaf, right? So which you will, uh, it will rotate to 0 to 180 degree and you can rotate it back to 0, one from 180 to 0, okay? So that's what we are going to do. So we need to uh, tell the signal uh, in a way like, you know, uh, it can uh, rotate from 0 to 180 and 180 to 0. So let's see how we can do that. For doing that, I'm going to use a for loop. So if you see, I'm going to use a for uh, loop from zero and it should be less than 180 and every, you know, uh, loop, what it does it, it checks whether it's zero or, or less than 180 degree, right? It's between zero or 180 degree. And if it's that means, you know, it's uh, keep uh, putting uh, number one. So like, like zero, then what goes to one, two, three, four, it reaches to 180, then it stops because we have given equal to. Then uh, what in that case what it has to do like you know where whenever this for loop it's if the for example now the integer POS is zero so it's now it's zero so what it has to do so what we are going to do is we are going to write that angle into the uh, uh, servo motor so that you know it can start from zero then go an angle one degree then two degree three degree right so you can reach to 180 so that's what we are going to do so we need to write it to the servo motor. So in order to uh, write, what we need to do is we need same as like servo dot uh, attach, which we used to attach the pin. What we need to use is servo dot write, and inside the write we need to give the POS value. So what it does is like every time you know there is a change in the POS value, it's uh, write it here. So it should be like uh, servo dot write one, then two, three, and it reaches till one eighty degree. And what we'll do is we'll just give a delay of a uh, small or uh, maybe uh, 20 microsecond okay uh, so it's just a small delay so that you know, it takes a little bit of a small delay between each uh, cycle so it can slowly rotate from one uh, angle to other angle okay and what we will do is then we will uh, write it back to zero degree so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy the same uh, for loop again and I'm going to put it here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, 180 and uh, it should be less than or equal to zero and uh, here it should be not plus it should be minus so it's more like you know it's starting from 180 and it's reaching to zero yep so it's not uh, less than it should be greater than because we are looking for greater than or equal to zero so it starts from 180 and it reaches to zero and uh, you know uh, it stops at zero so and that's what we did uh, here so if you see the overall uh, script you know it's uh, I will link this script uh, you know or link uh, into the video description so you can download it from my github location as well so we are uh, you know initiating a servo object and we are also initiating an uh, integer POS and we are going to attach the pin number to the server uh, servo motor right which is connected to the pin number two and uh, we are going to use a for loop to write the content or the angle into the servo dot write. So let's uh, start the simulation. Okay, now you can see this uh, servo motor start uh, rotating right, and it's uh, rotating back to zero degree. So that's uh, if you see this is what it happening. So based this on this uh, same code, you can use it for other purpose like whenever a, a PR sensor detects a motion the servo uh, rotate for 180 degrees so it can open a door or something and you know, after some time you can uh, you know, rotate it back to zero so that in you know, a door gets closed so these are some ways you know you can uh, do some automation using servo motor so, but these are just uh, basics like how to control a servo motor so I hope uh, uh, you are very clear about this code and the circuit as well right so if you have any questions or anything you can uh, definitely reach out to me to the uh, through the YouTube comment section or you can reach out to my Facebook as well So I'm always uh, ready to help you with my knowledge So that is all for this uh, tutorial. So it's uh, pretty simple So I would request you to subscribe uh, to watch out for more videos So you'll be notified and I'm hoping this is an informative tutorial for you. So thank you for watching